Hold on a minute. Okay, you ready? Welcome to Racing. There we go. There we go. Welcome to Racing Nuts TV and the Racing Nuts Radio Network. I'm on with Indy Car Driver for AJ Ford Racing, Dalton Kelly. Dalton, you hit you hit the big time, buddy. You really did. You know, you got yourself a ride this year in the NTT Indy Car Series. Your first race is coming up this weekend. I bet you're just I bet you're just so excited you can't see straight. Steve, I am ready to go. We've had uh, we've had more time than we expected to kind of prepare and get ready, and uh, we put that time to good use. And I'm looking forward to making my debut to um, so the next Canadian entity anti car series driver at the GMR Grand Prix. Yeah, it's gonna- I did read a little bit about your bio and everything. Have you been on the Jocks Valley New Track? You've been on the Jocks Valley New Track, right? Yeah, I, I I did a Formula Ford race there. I want to say in 2013. Uh huh. Yeah. So- you know the uh, NASCAR goes there. It's it's a pretty the Xfinity series goes there. Uh, mm-hmm. It looks like it's a pretty wild little track up there. But being Canadian, I figured that would be one of your milestones that you'd want to do that. But you spent the last several years in the Indy Light series, working your way up to the Indy Car series. And uh, for AJ Foy too, how did he recognize you? How did that come about? Yeah. The, uh, so the question of how, how we got kind of linked up with the with the Foy guys is a kind of an interesting story. We had uh, well, I I've been working with. Uh, Darren Manning, who's an ex, uh, ex IndyCar IRL F1 test driver, uh, as a driver coach mentor type thing, and right. he actually raced for Larry and AJ uh, back in let's say it was oh let's say oh four to oh six or oh five to oh eight or something like that uh, in the fourteen do. car. That back well, <laughs> well, well is my age, I guess. Um, you know, a, a number of years. So he had a good relationship with with Larry and. Um, the, you know, the, the, the first time I met Larry, it was a, a few years ago, and it was through Darren. And after the season, when we were kind of looking to, you know, talking to teams, looking to move up, um, the, the conversation kind of started there. And, yeah, that's, that, that's how we got our foot in the door, and then the rest was wow. figuring things out. Did you ever think that you'd be driving number famous number 14? I mean, because that is the car right there. Yeah, it's 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 an honor and it's a responsibility, and I'm uh, I'm very happy that the team has entrusted me with that. So I'm looking forward to it. So you're running a limited schedule for AJ Foyt Racing, and you're sharing it with the guy who's walking his way away from a good friend at our show, a uh, good friend because we're both, you know, we used to live in Miami with uh, with Tony. Tony's been on our show several yeah. times, <laughs> and uh, you know, you're gonna be you're gonna be slip seating with Tony. And Tony's going to be running the ovals. You're going to run the road courses. you got Indy coming up, Elkhart Lake, and what else is coming up after that? So we've got, actually, I've got my trusty IndyCar schedule right there because it changes so much. I mean, it's, it's just printed. It does. It's just thumb, thumbtacks. Um, but, no, the, uh, so after that, we've got, we've got Mid Ohio. And then, then, well, right after Indy, we've, or, we've got Road America. Tony's in for the doubleheader in Iowa. I'm back from Mid Ohio. Then I'm in the 41 car, the third for Indy. Uh, and then I think we go to Portland after that. Or no, Gateway, then Portland. So Okay, so I know another uh, Canadian driver. His name was Patrick Carpentier. You said mm-hmm. mid-Ohio. That just struck a nerve in my head now. You know what happened to Patrick in, uh, in uh, mid-Ohio, right? No. No? Yeah, he, said that if, man, he said that if he wins the race, I believe it was 2004, 2005, that he would strip all his clothes off and run across the airport. Huh. He ended up winning the race. So he ended up, he, he did a streak across the airport back in the day. You Canadian guys are kind of crazy. Well, I don't think we'll find that, but we'll, we'll, figured, we'll find something to do. Maybe we'll get you to match that, okay? No? <laughs> I see no you got promises. A, no promises with that one, huh? That was a kind of a stretch because we didn't yeah. think Patrick was going to win that race, you know? And then all of a sudden he comes out of nowhere, wins the race, and then he goes, oh, no, now I got to do it. I got to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You stick, stick your foot in your mouth. But anyway, getting back to you, Dalton Kellett, NTT IndyCar Series driver. How do you feel about running a road course? And I did, I did a little bit of research, and they actually said that you got more starts on that road course than even you know five, six time champion uh, uh, Scott. I mean, how, how do you do that? Yeah, so that you know, I, I someone actually told me that last week. I had no idea. Um, so I guess I can't play the rookie card this 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 coming weekend. But uh, uh, the, how it worked was that in the Road to Indy Series, um, we ran double headers. Right, so you do two races per per, per weekend, and with you know four, four seasons in, in lights and a couple in Pro Mazda and USF, the starts accumulated pretty quick, I guess. And uh, 
here we are. <laughs> yeah, you got more starts on the Indy Road Course and Will Power and all the other guys out there. I think that's really exciting for you because you really have a, a, a grasp on what the track is, the layout and everything. And if you remember everything, you know, especially doing it so many times, I think you got a little bit of an advantage over there. Now, you're a big Rolling, Stan a Rolling Stones fan? Yeah, I like to play guitar. I like, I like the kind of, kind of classic rock, blues-based rock. That's sort of, sort of my thing. And you do something I know I'm too big to ever do rock climbing. How do you do that? That's like, that's pretty incredible. Rock climbing, you like rock climbing, huh? Yeah, it's it's been a you know kind of a, a long time passion of mine, and I actually got got into it through another driver. Uh, Zach Beach was the one that kind of was doing it before me. We we both trained at Pitman Training, and he was climbing outdoors. Like, hey, that, that looks fun. Let me go try that out. And we kind of we went all over the country climbing, went to Yosemite, Joshua Tree, and all that. Um, I've, I've not been climbing as much the last like year or so just because I kind of overdid it. I think a couple of years ago, uh -huh. I hurt, hurt, hurt the shoulder a bit, had some stuff that wouldn't go away. And actually, the, this quarantine has been a great opportunity because it's like all of that. You know, I've been working, doing the physio, and all of that stuff has kind of worked itself out. And my shoulder feels better than it's felt in years. But I, you know, last season especially, I didn't want to risk hurting myself. So I could kind of taking it a bit easy on the, on the climbing front lately. Well, this would be the first seating for you in, in the cars with the new screen on the front, right? I, I, I was able to get one test day, uh, one full test day at Sebring in February. Uh, uh -huh. We were there, we were there at Coda for the spring training, two-day test. But the first day we got rained out, and the second day, by the time Seb got out, I think I got 20 laps in, so it wasn't really a well, we'll count that one. Okay, now your schedule is going to eliminate you from being down in St. Pete. We were talking about that before we went on. It's a shame you're not going to be able to run St. Pete in a championship race, but uh, uh, maybe at the beginning of the year next year, you'll start off in St. Pete in the, in the famous number 14. And yeah. then you'll be doing, next year, you'll probably be doing the, the road courses and the ovals, right? That's the idea. You know, we're, we're trying to put everything together to, to figure it out for a full-time season for next year. I would love to be starting things off at St. Pete. That's one of my favorite tracks. The city's great, you know. Well, Florida, it's, it's hot and fun and great restaurants, great town. They really embrace the whole race. So I'm looking forward to being back there next year. And hopefully I'll make it up just, just to be a fan and watch this year. Well, I'll tell you, next time you come down to Sebring, give us a call because our co-host, Big Al, lives his back door is right there on the track at Sebring. So uh, oh, yeah. we, need to, we need to go over there and hang out with you a little bit and watch you do some <laughs> practicing over there. I've actually run that course at Sebring, uh, okay. the original 3.7-mile, 17-turn course. Or 19 turn, which one is it? I can't remember, but I, I raced it in the Corvette. It was a 17. bunch of fun. Yeah, it was a bunch yeah, of fun. The last man. turn 17 under the bridge there, I think. So. Yeah, under a little catwalk, right? Yeah. yeah. Bumps I ran it <laughs> a long time ago, but I did it, and that's yeah. a great place to go. But good luck this weekend, your first race ever in the IndyCar Series. And it's great to have you on the Racing Nuts Radio Network and Racing Nuts TV. And let everybody know we're really excited about seeing you go out there racing the famous number 14 for AJ Foyt Racing. Uh, it's going to be great to see it. It's on the 4th of July, too, and NBC's covering the whole deal. No, be sure to follow along. Thanks for having me, Steve. Hey, thanks for coming on. Dalton Kelly, AJ Ford driver, driving that number 14. Y'all can't miss that. And uh, we can't wait to see him live and in action at Indy's Road Course on the 4th of July. Have a great day. We appreciate your time. And uh, we'll keep up with you as you go further and further down that list of races that you're going to run this year. Thank you. Thanks, Dalton. You're the best. All right. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate it. You got it, buddy. Talk to you later.